You know, I wanted to share a couple of things with you about my anchor, which has changed significantly since my first uh, video. Um, you notice that uh, I've got a collapsible anchor now, and also that I've been heeding your advice, uh, my commenters. I've got it tied to the back with a zip tie, and then it ties directly to the anchor on the front. And uh, the reason for that is if you throw your anchor out and it gets snagged like this underwater and you're pulling on it, you won't be able to get that out unless you have it rigged like this. You pull it really hard until this zip tie breaks and then all of a sudden you're pulling from the top. And it'll come free. At least that's the uh, the idea. And I uh, also wanted to show why I put a float on my anchor rope. There is the anchor. The whole trolley system tied off through the loop and then out to the anchor and there's the float that float slides on the rope there's just a hole in it big enough for the rope to pass through and then further up the rope there is a knot and that knot right there the only purpose of that is so that the rope, uh, the float rather, won't slip all the way off the rope. And that's so that if it comes undone over there and slips out of the rope and goes off, and that's happened, then it's really easy to find. If you catch a really big fish, this happened to me once with a uh, tarpon. Tarpon jumps out of the water. And I'm trying to undo the anchor and get it, pull it up and all that. And while that's going on, the fish is running off with my, um, all my line. Took every last drop of it, left me there with an empty spool. And uh, if I had a setup like this, that might not have happened because I could have undo, undone the rope right there and just let it slip out of the rope and then let the fish pull me to, you know, wherever until he tires out and I get him to the boat. Um, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, I still have a thing to, or two to learn about drag, setting that, but when you're in a small boat, sometimes you just gotta let the fish pull you and go on that sleigh ride. And you can't do that if you're anchored. So uh, that's the deal with the float on the rope of the anchor. One other thing I wanted to mention about my anchors was that my original anchors, which were just uh, five pound plates, 10 pound plates, when I was pulling them through the water, uh, they were laying pretty flat like that. And this part was dragging and catching the sand and the grass, and these little things were holding my anchor, my kayak in place pretty well. I actually thought it was weird how this collapsible anchor, albeit lighter, uh, wasn't doing as good a job as those little five pound plates or ten pound plates uh, at holding me in place. Especially the five pounders. That did a much better job. And I think one of the reasons is the way that this anchor sits when it's on the bottom. If it sits like this, it'll, it'll catch and hold you. If it sits like this, it'll ride and bump along the bottom. So these little anchors right here were holding my kayak better than this thing was. Typically speaking when this thing drops to the bottom of the water it's sitting in a position like this because this rope is light and buoyant 
and when it's sitting like that and it's being dragged by the kayak this part here isn't catching anything it's actually curved and riding on top of the bottom and it's not able to catch any of the structure that it's riding over if from here to here let's say there was some chain it would sink to the bottom and it only takes a little bit of pressure to get that anchor to sit like this and you see what's happening there those teeth are much more likely to catch the bottom and hold you in place if this part is down so to weight the front of the anchor a lot of people say that you should put some chain from here to here that becomes difficult I think if you're gonna then have a piece of chain that's gonna go from this side of the anchor to that side of the anchor because it might interfere when you're trying to collapse this I'm gonna test that theory by taking the anchor and dragging it across the floor here I didn't have any chain that wasn't going to rust really bad, so I used this bolt as a surrogate uh, chain of weight to hold the rope down. And uh, one advantage this bolt might have is that it won't jingle and jangle under the water and scare all the fish. It is said that if you use a chain with your anchor, you're supposed to cover it in, in like a uh, plastic sheet or sheath uh, to eliminate some of the noise. And this bolt can bend over the anchor and stow really nice and easy. You notice I left a little space between the bolt and the anchor when I zip tied it on. You can see the way that that anchor sits on that table right there with this part of the anchor down and that's going to help it drag and catch the bottom even if the rope is up like this that's pretty good it's just an experiment but I think it's going to work pretty well now I'm going to drag that anchor across the floor with the extra weight attached to the rope There it is. Thanks for watching.